You already know what it is. It's your brother, your brother, Virgil Berry, a.k.a. Stats with the Facts, man. And we here, man. Tap in and walk with us, man. Smash that like button, click on the bell, subscribe to the page. Hey, 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 Real hey, Talk hey, Podcast. Yeah, yeah, what up, what up, what up? This your brother and your brother, Virgil Berry, a.k.a. Stacks with the Facts. And y'all know y'all tuned in, tapped into another episode of hey, Real Talk Podcast, exclusive pre-recorded situation. First things first, all praises be to the most high. That's the most high God, yes, with the mosh, yeah, the horror side of that, right? Smash that like button, click on the bell, subscribe to the page, and of course, share it on your social engineering. Now, y'all see the thumbnail. And uh, I has, I just have to do this right here, man. I wasn't going to do a whole live stream on that, but I'm going to do a pre recorded on this. Shout out to my brother, Uncle Diggity, for sending me these fire instrumentals on the original side. Y'all already know, man. Tap in with my brother, Uncle Diggity. You only get them fire original tracks. Anyway, uh, first off, Shout out to Future, shout out to Kendrick Lamar, shout out to Drake, shout out to uh, J. Cole and all these guys, right? <clears throat> uh, uh, this song was trash, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> uh, you know, I like some of Future's music, but for the most part, Future's trash to me. Uh, you know what I'm saying? If, before anybody get in their feelings, I'm not hating, I applaud him for his success, all of these guys. I wish them nothing but the most uh, success to come to them. Um, very proud of these guys have been able to use their talents and gifts or whatever they have and uh, make a business out of it and be successful to where they can afford to take care of their families and be wealthy and successful at the same time. I'm not hating on that at all. But I'm an artist myself and I'm an MC to the bone, pause to the uh, core. You feel me? So, uh, you know, my opinion, right? Uh, Future trash. Uh, Kendrick Lamar. I'm not gonna say Kendrick is trash. I ain't gonna say Kendrick is trash. All right. But he's not as nice as I think we have been made to think he is. See, if you ask me, I personally think guys like Kendrick are what y'all call industry plants. Uh, Humble Beginnings, when he first came out, co-signed by Dr. Dre back in the day, if you want to call that. I think like 2010, something like that. Uh, I'm not denying Kendrick's pen. I'm not saying he's trash. I'm just saying he's not as nice as I think we've been made to think or believe he is. See, they put these type of people in front of us. Right? People who are the children of musicians and people who are bands, whatever, right? But, uh, <clears throat> you know, I mean, Kendrick is talented, but I just don't think he's the, y'all call people the GOAT, the GOAT, the GOAT, the GOAT, man. And I don't get into all of that GOAT stuff because, you know, I'm aware of what that stuff means and I don't, you know. Anyway, <laughs> I just think that that Kendrick is supposed to be going at J. Cole and and Drake in this verse, and uh, I'm gonna just be honest with y'all, man. I just it was just trash to me, man. Like, and it's crazy because, like I said, it, Kendrick's not a trash rapper, but that verse was like, yeah. And then I'm just seeing everybody, everybody's tagging me on social engineering, everybody's posting this on Facebook, they're posting this on Instagram and Twitter and all or X and all this, and they hit me up in my DM, like, verse, did you hear the news? Did you hear the new? Did you hear the new stats? Did you hear the new song Future? And, just, and you know, I'm like, I'm feeling like how I feel towards J. Cole, Kendrick, Drake, and the rest of these guys, like how J. Cole felt when he said, uh, when rappers, when he said something about when people ask me about other rappers, I say, I, they okay, I guess. That's how I feel towards these guys. And, you know, I catch a lot of flack for that because people be like, oh, birds, you tripping. Stats, you, you see, you, you bugging, you bugging. Whatever, right? I just don't think these dudes is it. I just don't think that, right? I'm, I'm entitled to my opinion, right? And I'm not backing down. Kendrick is all right. J. Cole is all right. Drake is decent. I mean, I'm not knocking away from their celebrity or taking away 
I'm just, or their influence, I just personally don't think that these guys are as nice as we're being made to think and believe they are. That's just my personal opinion. And when it comes to Kendrick Lamar, he has got to be one of the most overrated. I think personally. You know what I mean? Uh, when I think, when I listen to Kendrick's music, and how I'm listening to his wordplay, I'm listening to his alliteration, I'm listening to how his usage of simile and metaphor I'm, I'm thinking about how he uses uh, uh, double entendres, triple entendres. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and what I will say about Kendrick is he has the ability uh, to use those elements in his rhyme, but it's just not as uh, goatish, if you would, to me as it is to y'all. Right? I mean, it's, it's okay. It's just like J. Cole said, all right, I guess. <laughs> That's how I feel towards these niggas, man. You know? And uh, I just think that when it comes to Kendrick Lamar on this, bro, I think y'all blowing it way out of proportion. I think we've been made to believe that these guys are more influential and more, uh, uh, they're more uh, prolific with their rhymes and all that than they actually are. You know? Uh, that's just my personal opinion. You know, when I look at Kendrick Lamar and I see him sitting at the Prada fashion show, Louis Vuitton, I think my fault, Louis Vuitton fashion show, and he's up there with uh, uh, him, and I forget the chick that was sitting next to him, I can't remember, and he has a, 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 a he has a icy, he has an iced up crown of thorns on his head. I can't help but look at that image and see that that is very blasphemic in its nature. Then y'all referring to this guy as the goat, as he has a crown of diamonds on his head. That is very disrespectful. And Kendrick, if you think I don't see through that, there's something wrong with you. That's another topic for another day. But um, yeah, man, just like J. Cole on the cover of his uh, cover of his uh, K.O.D. album, I see through the symbology and the imagery, man. That's another topic for another day. But uh, I just don't think, I think y'all blowing that out of proportion, man, personally, man. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to all them brothers, man. I, I wish them continued success. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, it ain't up for me to decide what happened to them. Just know when you look at the imagery and you start seeing them mocking Yeshua Hamashiach, calling themselves the GOAT, God MC, referring themselves to this imagery as you see. Y'all start questioning things, man. Or don't. You know, it's all entertainment, right? Smash that like button, click on the bell, subscribe to the page, share on your social engineering. Hey. Okay.